Maraming salamat. Thank you very much. Three and a half years ago. ay hindi pa ganito noon. And uh, ito yung order natin, accomplishment, ito inaugurate natin ngayon na hapon na ito, on the occasion of Independence Day. So, the first, the first uh, accomplishment is this one. So, no, marami pang susunod. Ang nakita ko medyo uh, I mean, hopefully, na hindi magtataka ay uh, water quality. But before I go further, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Secretary Tampona, Secretary Anyo, uh, Ayosa to Robert Bernardo, and of course from the NWSA, the Administrator, and all the others here who are here. I would like to greet especially the Contravita, the Contravita, the one who made this, uh, 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 who was responsible for the case against our government, Attorney Opusa. <laughs> Siya po ang nagpahal ng case against the government na hindi inaayos na ang gobyerno itong beach, itong uh, Manila eh. Well, ito yung nababanggit kanina na yung pag-swimming dito. Uh, well, uh, we would have wanted really na malinisan na itong tubig na ito nung pa, tagal na ito, nung nagkaroon tayo ng uh, treatment plant yan, we were expecting and thinking that may uh, malinis na rin ito. Ang nakipat nakita ko na pinag-aralan rin natin ay nasakop kasi ito Manila Bay. Kaya kung ulit tayo mayroon habagat yan, pupunta yung tubig dito. Kaya kung ulit dito ay dito pa rin talaga pupunta yung design, hindi garbage, pero yung water quality. Kaya no amount yung paglilinis linis natin dyan, nandyan pa rin about 1,000, uh, what, 1,000? 1,100 ay nag-maintain yan eh bako pa na sana yan pero kumisan tumataas bakit? ang pinagagalingan yan ay meron rin pa rin lumalabas from the from other sources kaya kung mawawala yung mga iba namamatay yung bakterya meron naman sumusunod na bakterya dahil may lumalabas pa dito siguro kaya ito ngayon lang gusto natin malaman malaman talaga kung saan nanggagalik para Bababa, nagbababa na rin sana itong topic nito. Kasi doon sa labas, uh, near the outbound of Manila Bay, ay mababa yung coliform level doon. In fact, uh, uh, pasado yung Cavite. Dito sa may Puerto Azul, dito sa may Ternate, pasado dyan. Ganun rin sa Bataan, yung sa Maribeles pasado dyan. Pero pagpasok rito, dito ngayon ang stubborn ang ating coliform level. So, I, I have very big confidence sa DNR na mat, ma, ano ito, eventually maging sumabon na ito. Kasi ito na lang ang kulang pa. Hindi pa natin masabi na completely accomplished na ito kung hindi natin ma make this really as what the super important said, make this swimmable. Kaya, Ito lang ngayon, papasyal-pasyal na lang po na tayo rito, punto po po ni Sunset, pero hindi po na makakaligo. Hopefully, this is a very big challenge to Secretary Sampolna and whoever will be the next Secretary para mapag, uh, mapaliguan na itong uh, ating Dolomite Beach. Nakita ko ito, yung malaking Dolomite na yan, Nanggaling ito, yung sand na yan, kanya. So, pinulverize yan, naging sand. Yan ang pinanggalingan itong dolomite. Ito yung malaking... So, yung, yung boulder na ito, sabi ko nga noon, sakay na ninyo yan sa barco, papunta sa Manila. Galing ang koy, sabu. 
ito. So, yun ang masasabi ko lang ngayon. I'm, I'm very happy that natapos na rin yung Mandamus building. Huwag ka malapit ng matapos. Yung souvenir shop um, na, na natapos na rin sa kayo mga CR. So, ang intention naman itong CR, aside from the um, gagamitin ng mga tao, ay dyan sana, bago ka maligo kasi sana dyan, ay mag, uh, parang dressing, mag dressing room lang muna dyan. Yan sa intention itong uh, mga CR na ginawa dito. And so, maraming salamat na uh, uh, Secretary Sampol na for continuing the effort for the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. I would like also to thank uh, General Carolina, Jose Carolina, who is with the PIBAO, and who is in charge of the corridor. Siya po ang in charge talaga sa mga heritage guns na uh, naging proper field ng Philippine government. So, Siya ngayon na namamahala dyan and nagusap uh, kami na kung pwede natin mahiram yung mga hindi ginagamit, ilagay na display. Yan ngayon ang uh, nandiyan ngayon na pinapanood ng mga tao. So again, maraming salamat. Thank you po si Yosek uh, Kuna, Yosek Jonas, Yosek Te, at uh, other officers dyan na uh, at si, uh, si Yosek and Kuna natin. Uh, pero sa irrigation na siya. Kaya very ako siya rito. Dati natin na uh, spokesman dyan. So maraming salamat. Thank you very much. Maraming pong salamat former BNR Secretary Roy A. Simatu. One very important key takeaway from that uh, message from a former Secretary Roy Simatu. We are now seeing the fruits of the labor or the mga efforts po ng iba't ibang agency. But the battle for Manila Bay is not yet over. It will continue for the days, months, and years to come and the responsibility lies in each of our hands. Now friends, another secretary is about to give a message to all of us this afternoon. Please give a big round of applause to the Secretary of Department of the Interior and Local Government. Put your hands together to Secretary Eduardo M. Anio. Maraming salamat. Secretary Roy Simato, sir. Secretary Jim Sampulna. Uh, I'm the Secretary and uh, General Ernesto Carolina. I'm the Secretary Robert uh, Bernardo. Other distinguished guests, other under secretaries and assistant secretaries. Representatives from the different government agencies, NGOs, private sectors. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Unang-una ay gusto kong bumati na isang maligaya at pinagpalang linggo sa lahat ng Pilipino sa anumang mundo. Sa araw na ito, ating binugita ang ika, isang daan at dalawang apat na anibersaryo ng ating kasarinlan bilang isang malaya at matatag na republika. This is really very timely because now that we are opening the Dolomite Beach, this is also a very symbolic one. Kasi kanina napapag-usapan yung history, itong ating uh, Manila Bay ay saksi sa maraming naganap na battle noong unang panahon. Nabanggit yan ni Secretary Simato, May 1, 1898, dito yung Battle of Manila Bay kung saan naglaban ang pwersa ng Amerika at uh, ang uh, Spanish Armada under Admiral Dewey and Admiral Montojo respectively. 1945, dito rin naganap ang isang Battle of Manila Bay between the Japanese forces and the American Liberators. At noong January 27, 2019, the government declared another different battle and that is to clean up and rehabilitate Manila Bay under the leadership of Secretary Roy Simatu. Because of, sabi nga, the case filed by Mr. Tony Oposa. Wherein, the writ of Andamus required 13 agencies, 178 LGUs, 8 provinces, and 3 regions to clean up, rehabilitate, and sustain the Manila Bay. And this is the culmination as we open the Dolomite Beach. Nakita natin na panalo na tayo sa battle na to. At napakita natin kung paano natin pwede ibalik ang ganda ng Manila Bay. Ngunit sa panahon ngayon, 
makita natin na hindi lamang saksi ang kalikasan sa mga kaganapang nahubog sa ating kasaysayan. Bakos mismo ang kalikasan na ang puno at dahilan ng ating patuloy na pakipaglaban sa harap na umiinit na usapin ng environmental degradation at climate change. Pero ngayon, hindi na armas, bayoneta o pisto na magsisilbing tangunahing armas sa lamang ito, kundi ang ating kaalaman, pakikisa, disiplina para palagang, proteksyonan at panatilihin ang kagandaan ng ating kapaligrian ng samot sa aming yamang inyikas na pinagkalob at pinagkatiwalan ng Panginoon sa ating mga Pilipino. I understand that many of our countrymen have plucked the Manila Bay Walk Dolomite Beach since it was opened in 2020. The Dolomite Beach to this day stands as a concrete proof of how our concerted effort can contribute to the protection, sustainability, and restoration of many of our precious natural resources. Our concern for sustainable tourism and environmental protection made way for the restoration of many of our tourist destinations, such as the Buraque Island, si Secretary Simato din na nanguna sa ating BIATF. Kung paano natin na-rehabilitate, isinara at nabuksan na muli ang ating Buraque. Kung may pagkakataon kayo, I am inviting you to come to Buraque. Ang ating Sergao Island, ang Panglao, El Nido, and Baguio City, and with the multitude of successes we have committed towards this endeavor. I'm certain that there is no limit to that to what we can achieve further if we continue and strive to work together. And this time, I am hopeful that this summit serves as a reminder to all Filipinos, young and old, of the surplus acts of bravery and nationalism that our forebears exuded for the preservation of our race, identity, and sovereignty. May the beauty and serenity of the Dolomite Beach exudes fuel our desire to safeguard our environment for the survival of our nation and for the sake of our children and many generations that may come after. Maliling maraming salamat at congratulations sa Department of Natural Resources and Banyak and Natural Resources. Magandang hapon po, mabuhay ang sambayan ng Pilipinas.